We are finally here. That's right. Look at it right behind us. Table Rock Lake, baby. We're gonna go ahead and get put uh, put the boat in here in a second. Gonna figure out where the ramp is first. We don't know where that is. We're staying here at Victory Resort. I think Victory Condos or something like that. But anyway, the important thing is we are here and we are ready to do some fishing. Let's go. Drag's not set. Deeper? Uh, feels good. There we go. Yeah, he might it's go. decent. He go. He's close. I believe he will. Ooh. <laughs> he went free falling. There we go. He's got some spots on him. He's all cut up. Rough weather. Yeah. That'll be stacked up. All right, finally, got a fish. Be stacked up on this point. Yeah. So they're sitting on the point, and just dragging on the bottom there. My drag wasn't set. It's a good fish though. Is that, a, is that a spot or a largemouth? It's a largemouth. Yeah. So it might be. It looks like if it. If you're down, you can feel the tongue. Yeah. Rough tongue. Cool. It's good to see that I finally get one in the boat. Should have had the other one, but I was fiddling with my camera. There's another one. Well, if they're not keepers, they're close to it, ain't they? Yeah. This one's hooked well. They appear to be males. Man. Yep, another male on that point. This one is a. I had one, I didn't set the hook. There we go. Just using this uh, sweet beaver, watermelon red, dragging the bottom on these points. Rock. More on like bigger chuck. Ooh, we just doubled up. We got a good fish coming in. I'm gonna get mine back in. Oh, I'm just getting excited. Just getting excited about these Kentuckys. <laughs> just picked up, was it our fourth fish from the back of this cove? Fifth fish? I think that makes, you caught two and I caught, caught two. four or five, I don't know, quite a few.
Yeah. Mm. Is that the boat too? Oh, he had the tail. But not a five pounder, but a decent fish. Might be. Close. I think that's another keeper. Maybe. Had a baby. Right on that little ledge. Yep. Another one in this pocket. You'll catch him. Might be 15 inches. It's close. I think it might be closer to 14 than 15. He's fun party. I know that. Uh, yep. And down he goes. All right. So I've caught all my fish on the same exact thing. Little Omega Custom Tackle. Shaky jig head on a green, or sorry, a watermelon red sweet beaver. Catch that one by that stick right there. See that? Oh, yeah, the one right by the stick? He's got his eyeball behind that stick. Uh huh. That's not the stick. Different stick. It's a different one, yeah. Tick, tick. Is it a bluegill tick or a bass tick? It wasn't a bass tick. What? It was a bass tick. He didn't like the taste of it. Yeah. Usually a bass tick is a swallow. Seem to be getting them more on this chunk rock than the, yeah, chunk rock on the, other side of the, the gravel. It's been more of like the softball size, baseball softball size chunk rock than gravel. So this one was with some ship lapping. Shiplap, riffraff, getting shiplap and riffraff mixed mixed up. <laughs> Dang fixer upper. We're getting pretty good at catching the little ones. Where are the big ones at? Bunch of little ones. Oh! <laughs> he ripped the bait right off. A little overkill on the hook set there. Good fish. Nice spotted one. Boy, he's a chunky little guy. Yeah, he is. That's a pre spawn right there. Stay down. Keeper. No, it came off. Right off. Well, that was a day. So we just pulled back into the slip. I think overall we caught about 20 fish. 
generously could say that five of them were keepers, so that's a positive sign. I think the biggest pattern we picked up on right now are uh, chunk rock and gravel transition points. Uh, we have tried going way far back in the cove uh, up creeks and we didn't catch anything. We couldn't catch them. It didn't matter how far we went, if it was pea gravel or chunk rock or, I mean, even riffraff. They weren't back in the creeks yet. We saw some beds, but nothing, nothing sitting on them. So, hopefully, promising signs of today of at least catching the five keepers um, gives us a good chance for tomorrow. We have a, a bass buddy tournament tomorrow, thousand uh, dollar prize to the first place boat, and then. There's also an optional $20 big bass, 100% payout uh, pot for tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Surprisingly enough, we didn't catch a single smallmouth. Everything we caught was largemouth or spot, and so I don't know if it's because we were fishing dingier water or what. Uh, the water was a lot of the water clarity where we were fishing was actually dingy similar to the Lake of the Ozarks, which is kind of weird because Table Rock is usually known as a clear water finesse type uh, lake. But it was fun. It was good. Beautiful weather, beautiful lake. We definitely got on some fish, so that's a good sign. But we couldn't find any of those those big girls, so I don't know if we just need to pull out more maybe fish a little bit deeper on those points or what uh, maybe fish main lake points instead but anyway hey if you guys could hit that subscribe button it'd be great also the bell icon that way notifications will be sent to you as soon as videos are dropped on my channel last but not least we're definitely doing a 100 sub giveaway so What's gonna happen is I'm gonna put a package together. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a fishing package. Gonna put a fishing package together, and then we'll randomly select one of the first 100 subs to win that package. And uh, I'll send you a message if you win, and then we'll get in communication on where I need to ship that package to, who's gonna get it, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, Thanks for tuning in. It was a great day on the water, and we will see you in the next video.